welcome to Livy Rosa. I'm your host Pinky and today I will be doing a wig review on this unit and her name is Nicole. She my new bestie. Shout out to blackhairspray.com for sending me this wig to review but don't worry they still wanted me to give my honest opinion so you will be hearing it later on in this video. Alright guys never mind my tongue. I ate a Jolly Rancher. Okay, anyway, before we continue, I would love for everyone to leave a big thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into this video. This wig is called Nicole. And it's from Red Carpet Premiere. And it's in the color... 1B Ash Brown. This is the part. It only it's like an L part. Yeah, it looks very natural, very realistic. And it has two clips in the front, one clip in the back, and it has two straps for extra safety. Okay, the hair is Konekalon Futura hair, which I have a lot of wigs that have Futura fiber hair and it kind of works just like real human hair. The highest temperature you can go is 400 degrees. So you can put heat on it if you would like to, just in case I want to add some more curls and whatnot. I probably could pluck it a little bit to make the part a little wider, but I'm okay with the part. It has darker roots, like a blackish, brownish roots, and then it comes down into this dark brown color, which I really like because I've been trying to stay away from black because I feel like it really washes me out, so I really enjoy this color. And as you can tell from the picture, it comes in a variety of colors. Um, the color that popped out to me was the violet. I thought that was really cute. I keep running my fingers through this hair and I'm really not getting too much tangling. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm, I got a, a few strands. So just normal shedding. It's nothing out of the ordinary. You're going to have shedding when it comes to wigs. So yes, it's like a little shedding, but not enough to make a big deal about it. As far as the length goes, it comes like a little bit past my boob area. It comes down to like right above my butt. I would say this wig was like around 20, 22 inches. And I was a little nervous when I opened the package. I was like, oh, I hope this is not going to be thin. But the more you pick it out and you play with it, the more luscious the hair looks because it's very thick, very full, very like full of life. It just moves so freely. And I love it. If you're looking for a curly wig that's like has a lot of length and a lot of movement, this wig is definitely for you. The, one of the main things I look for in a wig is the thickness and does it move? And this wig does both. It has a nice loose curl. I really love the curls. The color and the curl complement each other. So for those who don't know, in my last couple of reviews, I implemented a new thing called the Levita Rosa hair flip. And you can either pass or fail this test. So clearly, if it flips and it's fabulous, then you pass. If it's stiff and it didn't go nowhere or it looks a fool after you flipped it, then you did not pass. So we about to do the test real quick. Okay, I think it passed, darling. I think it passed. Yes. This wig reminds me of Claire's hair from My Wife and Kids. The general texture, the general curl reminds me of Claire's hair from My Wife and Kids. Like, I know I say I love wigs pretty much in every review, but the wigs I've been getting lately have been really nice wigs. And, like, I wouldn't be telling y'all this if I didn't really feel like it, like, Y'all can see it? Y'all see it? Don't it look good? Okay. I would not steer you wrong. So that's it for my wig review. I would love to thank blackhairspray.com for sending me this wig to review. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this wig review. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.
Y'all love my baby. 